Shopify Shopify world so welcome to our video and welcome to another Shopify app uh, review video so my name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and on this channel we review Shopify apps so you don't have to install an app clutter up your code realize it's not for you delete the app and then the code stays because you're not deleting the code while deleting the app and so slowing down your website this week we're going to look at form builder by hulk apps so what exactly is form builder well let's just straight up start looking at it on the screen and see you on the other side cheers guys starting from the shopify app store two plans are available the free plan and the pro plan that will cost you about ten dollars a month that seems fair let's install the app as usually download it from the shopify app store integrate it with your shopify or shopify plus account and you are good to go once the app is installed we are greeted with the standard hook design i mean when it's working why change it and here on the home page we have six options the form creator our, our current forms drafted forms app guide help and faq and the plan picker in the top navigation menu we have the same things as we have on the home page but in a different order everything looks clean and really easy to navigate Okay, let's start creating the form by clicking on this blue button here that says a new form. A new window appeared. On the left, we have the form editor and on the right, we have a live preview on how the form looks. The first step is to connect the form builder and give the form a name. We will go with ask a question and here you should write the notification email addresses. You can actually add more than one email address. This is a useful function if you have more than one member in your customer service team. We will write our company email here. If you are a paid member, you can block certain domains from filling the form, which is a great protection against spam or harmful emails. You can also limit your customers to fill out only one form by clicking on this checkbox right here. And on this tab, you can integrate the app with your favorite email platform, and it is only available on the paid plan. This app allows you to save your progress as draft and pick on it later. Now, let's jump on to the next tab, content. The first step is form settings. Again, clean and easy to navigate editor. Form title, ask a question, form description maybe we can go something like drop as a question and we will reach back in less than 24 hours which classic and then submit text i'm uh, submit button text i'm sorry submit is okay next step is form elements here we can customize the elements we have in our form you can add or remove existing elements also, you can set the position of the field elements and choose which of the elements are required. We will remove the last name by clicking on this button right here. We want to add the option for our customers to upload the file, so let's click on Add Elements and choose File Upload. For the sake of time, we will leave it as it is. Now we have Captcha, ah, the captcha. You can activate captcha by clicking on this button right here. In this section here, we will change the captcha style to center and the captcha language is okay. If you are on a paid plan, you can customize form messages and form scrolling. After user submits, the app allows you to choose different actions. You can show a thank you message, clear the form and show another submission. Redirect to another page, allow only one entry at a time, or you can show responses. We will go with allow only one entry at the time. You can also set up autoresponder. We won't do that now since it will take us a lot of time and we still had a lot of things to cover. Let's design this form a little. For the layout, there are two options, block and inline labels. Block labels look nicer, if you ask us. The app also offers different background types, transparent, color, gradient, or images. 
we will choose colors and pick some nice light gray. Submit button is OK, full width, definitely looks best on our form, and tracking is available in the advanced section. OK, let's publish this form by clicking on this button here. We are back to the dashboard now, and all we need to do now is to place the code on the page we want to show our form. Copy the code like this and jump on online store. Pick the team you want to edit and click on Actions, Edit Code. We want this form to appear in the product pages, so we will go to Sections and choose product-template.liquid, paste the code and save the changes. Let's see how it looks like on our website. And here it is. Bam! That was easy. This app makes creating forms almost like playing games. So you can play with elements of elements and colors of your forms until you're happy with the design. Save as a draft button is another big plus for us as it allows you to come back. And another great function of this app is that you can create different forms for every page for your website. All right, that is it for today, people. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, so we know that we're actually doing something that brings a little bit of value to at least one person. Uh, that would uh, be a huge help. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. You can send us an email at info.ecomexpress.io. Uh, anything related to the Shopify store, we have the... Um, we know we are, we're only dev work, but we know the best marketers, we know the best designers, so we can redirect you to the right place if needed. And uh, otherwise, you can leave a comment below. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next Shopify app review video. Cheers.